Deep beneath the Frostback Mountains sits Ozimar, the larger of two known remaining dwarven cities in the world. Ozimar was once the seat of a major empire connected by tunnels called Deep Roads, which stretched thousands of miles. The city now stands alone, cut off from the rest of the dwarven ancestral lands by the Darkspawn incursion. Secure in Ozimar's impregnable construction, the dwarven noble houses continue their centuries-old power struggles. Assassination and blackmail are commonplace, but the appearance of honor is paramount. You are the second child of King Endron of House Idukan, the ninth Idukan ruler elected by the noble assembly. You grew up in a world rife with political intrigue and have struggled against brothers and cousins for honor and prestige. Today, a feast celebrates your first military commission the opening move towards real power in the ever-changing game of Dwarven politics. Greetings, my lady. You are dressed and ready. Excellent. I couldn't find the armor's matching dagger, but I scrounged up a rather fancy longsword. Do you wish to wear your shield to the noble's feast? as opposed to the Paragon of Beauty. One can't take all this marching about and speech-making too seriously. Moving on to the business at hand. The King expects you to make an appearance at the feast, but there's no rush. The noble family heads will spend hours boring your father with petitions and petty grievances. Out and about. I saw them on my way here, browsing the shops. As part of the celebrations, permits have been auctioned off to members of the merchant caste who wish to sell wares in the Diamond Quarter. Lord Harrowmont has also opened up the provings for young warriors to test their mettle before tomorrow's battle. Rumor has it that Harrowmont hopes you'll be swept off your feet if a well-placed young nobleman wins the provings in your honor. Win the proving in your own honor? That would be most interesting. Shall we then? With you as always, my lady, the day is ours until the feast. <laughs> 